One of the misconceptions about the childhood obesity epidemic is that it's overblown, and in fact, that's not true. When we have at least one-third of children who are currently overweight and obese, and 6% of U.S. children who are severely obese, they're struggling with obesity, but also comorbidities like diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, sleep apnea, and the psychosocial effects of obesity. It's a real health crisis in all of our communities. We know that 80% um, of the children that are obese today are going to be obese as an adult. And you know that obesity brings death, basically, because what you are going to die, and that's a that's completely demonstrated. Means that if you want a healthy society, you have to have a healthy child. And instead of thinking that it's uh, overblown, we need to have more awareness and we all need to do more to address this complex issue. The HEROES program is the weight management program that we have in the Children's Hospital Medical Center in Lincoln and Omaha. Um, this program has been um, existing for the last five years. We had a clinic that is run um, by Dr. Lester and by me, and it has been a great experience where we have patients with obesity and overweight. The HEROES program stands for Healthy Eating with Resources, Options, and Everyday Strategies. It's made up of a multidisciplinary team of experts. And what that means is it's made up of a pediatrician, a nurse, a dietitian, psychologist, social worker, and a fitness specialist. So it has a team of experts that works with children and their families as well to improve their health. These patients have the opportunity of um, learn about healthy habits and how to, to control their, their weight and how to get a better life and, and healthier. The childhood obesity epidemic is caused by multiple factors, including, but not limited to, ubiquitous shifts in food practices, fast food marketing to children, changes in our built community, we're not moving every day, we have less PE in schools, and these factors all make it really hard for parents to raise healthy children. And so it's more complex than just eat less and move more. When we talk about childhood obesity, um, there are so um, different problems. First is the if the parents consider that the, ch the child is obese or not obese. And th that's one of the big things. Like for my Latinos families or African American families or, or Native American families, being big, it's beautiful and it's healthy. And, and when you have to change that conception, it's a little bit difficult. And that's why we try to work with the families. Um, culturally that it helps them to do the right thing. The childhood obesity epidemic affects not only children and families on many levels, but also our communities at large. There are economic consequences with decreased workforce productivity, decreased academic potential, and also health care costs. Well, in May of 2008, I left my pediatric practice to start an organization called Teach a Kid to Fish, and our mission is to prevent and reduce childhood obesity by empowering children and families to eat healthy and be active. Our vision is creating community solutions for children's health. We have a lot of program in, in the community, but one of the gaps was a multidisciplinary program like HEROES. We worked with multiple partners to see, you know, who was really going to be that step up partner to address children's health in our community, and it was Children's Hospital and Medical Center who did that. There's nothing like seeing the kids that we're seeing here in the Lincoln Heroes program, and these are kids in our community, and they're walking in with a burden of disease that's unimaginable. As you know, uh African Americans had a high incidence of hypertension and we have kids that we have already in two or three medicines with pro probably terminal hypertension damaging a lot of organs already and we have kids that are Latinos and they have diabetes type 2 on insulin and it means that because that goes besides that goes in your genes and in your families it goes if you had obesity it gets worse it means that we have to be worried about those things and, and that's why we are here. 
I saw a patient today who's been on a trajectory of weight gain, has multiple medical complications, and what we decided to do was instead of feeling guilty, instead of feeling sad about her continued weight gain, was we were going to start a positive movement forward and that I would be there to help them. And so we try to, first of all, get rid of any guilt that the parents might have, really empower the families because they're struggling with so many barriers, and also really to support them and educate them that you can make a couple of really small changes that can be sustained and that are gonna make a real big difference in your overall health and well-being. We try to make changes for the whole family and everybody's going to do exercise and everybody's going to eat healthy food and everybody's going to do the walk. You know, it is a family and it's so beautiful when you start seeing how they're mentally uh, and, and you know their own bodies are changing even for the parents they come and say oh I lost 20 pounds or I'm not eating any more white bread or or you can see that it's a, a change of behavior for the whole family. One of the things that's been really exciting is to see especially as the families have started the group fitness program that's being held at the Fallbrook Y, the level of parent participation, the level of family engagement, the fun social interaction that the kids are having, it's been really exciting. If you have a concern about your child's weight, the most important thing to do is to set up an appointment with your child's pediatrician or family physician, and they should be measuring the body mass index, percentile, and documenting a weight status category, and reviewing that with you. If your child is overweight or obese, or they have a comorbidity, then the Children's Heroes program would be a helpful program for that child and family. Sometimes we want to give up because these are very small changes that we are doing, but um, I just take it as a challenge for all of us to be able to, to change a little bit the patient care and, and their patient health and at the end the society long term.